my mom and I are what is called quad outsiders. And so that is black female, non-technical tech founders, which is a complete mouthful to say. And so from the very beginning, you know, my mom would go to these tech meetups in Nashville and she would try to ask questions about, you know, how to grow the business, et cetera, and so on. And at one of these in particular, someone who was uh, like a thought leader in Nashville in the technology space said, I've heard of your product, good idea, but you're a black woman in the South. This probably won't be happening for you. Wow. So I would say, from the very beginning, it was a lot of, we always had to come into a room and we could never just start out with, here's the software we have, you know, started to build. Here's what we're thinking. Here's the business. We would have to go through this whole, here are all my credentials to even be in this room, having this conversation with you. I don't believe that we would have been able to successfully raise a friends and family round. Or let me say, I don't believe that I, Ashley, by myself, without my mom as a co-founder would have been able to do it because I was living and working in New York City at the time. Most of my friends who were in their late 20s, early 30s, you know, they were getting married and having their first children, et cetera. So they didn't have disposable income they were sitting on, you know, in addition to trying to have a lifestyle in New York City, which is very expensive. Whereas my mom, she had all of these friends of hers, her peers who were seasoned executives. So they did have disposable income. So when we went out for a friends and family round, we were actually able to raise over time $200,000, you know, at a time when black female founders were only raising $36,000 on average. They're betting on you as a founder in the very beginning, betting on you that you just have that get it done mentality. When you get a no, you're gonna figure out how to get to yes. So you have to find those people who believe in you and then your business will get there because it has you behind it. So it's really finding those champions. So whether those are people from your career or people you've touched with, you know, in other ways, you know, I think having that kind of network and community support is so very important. And then I think it's the negatives that you get. How can you spin those positive? Because people used to always say, you know, you two don't have a tech background. But again, as I've said, you know, we have human expertise. So what we have heard over time is there are many technologists who have tried to solve this problem that Mixtro solves for, but they built a software with tech in mind first and human second. With our background, we thought about humans first and then built a tech to support humans, which is why when we run mixes, as we call them, those are our, uh, you know, our events, we have um, 90 percent or higher user adoption generally because we really thought about humans, how humans interact with tech today. What is the least we can ask a human to do to get the result that they want? And that's what we built Mixtros on. So people viewed that not having a technology background as a negative and and we really spun it positive because we weren't limited in our imagination by the restraints of technology or whatever. We were shooting for the moon and we got mixed rows. You know, I think sometimes you just get overwhelmed with emotion and I am a big fan of feeling. You know, this entrepreneurship stuff isn't for the faint of heart. Like you're going through like the life of an entrepreneur. I love those graphics where it's like, you know, your feelings in a day are, oh my gosh, we're amazing. And then it's like, oh my gosh, we're gonna die. Right. And then it's like, no, <laughs> we're okay. We're puttering along. Like those are really the feelings that entrepreneurs go through like on a day to day basis. But I think you have to do what you can on your end to keep your emotions in check, knowing how your emotions swing. So today, the way I avoid going into a, like having a situation like that where I'm just devastated is I go into everything and I expect nothing. If I expect nothing, I never expect to win. You know, when I come off stage, like, do I know I did a good job? Hell yes. Like, do I know that I was very prepared? 1000%. But do I know that there are a thousand factors that affect who's going to win that competition, including who the judges are? Are, oh, does the one judge like that the fact that my colors for my company are orange and blue? Maybe they don't. Maybe that's the reason that I lost. I don't know. Just understanding that. And again, understanding that the only piece that you can control is you. When you're doing your thing, like when you're doing your life thing, you know, be it you have a business, a job, whatever it is. Like, I think that one of the most important things that you can do for yourself is don't continue to stay in a place where people say you're crazy 
easy or it can't be done or like because you're black, it can't be done or whatever. The world is so vast and so big. And even within that, the United States is vast. It is your job as a human, as a founder, as an employee, whatever, to find your place, find the people that champion you, that get you, that feel you, go to that place and conquer. Do not limit yourself geographically to a place that is not helping you be your brightest you. That's it. For us, it was really relocating our business from Nashville to Birmingham, doing that, moving 175 miles literally down one highway. That changed our complete story. I do completely believe our business would have died in Nashville for a multitude of reasons. And by moving, we got this opportunity to raise money, to be, um, I would say, a big part of this community, a big part of shaping the fabric of the Birmingham of tomorrow and really changing the face of entrepreneurship. Like people think about entrepreneurship differently because of what my mother and I have done. And that's amazing. That's not even what we set out to do, but it's a byproduct of what we've done. And so that's my big piece of advice. Go to the place where people feel you and be there.